Hello, so this is a video for Lore School and Lore School Scratch Programming. I'm hoping that this turns out good, turns out well. Um, so let's get rid of all of this. Assuming that you have a brand new sheet, we're going to call this piano. Piano, because virtual piano, a virtual piano, and uh, we can break this up into two different parts, three different parts. First part is creating the environment, Second, so the art, the backdrop, uh, the graphics. The second part is the programming, the third part is the testing and creating music. Creating music. So I want to make a piano. We want to make a piano um, here, but first let's get some inspiration. What is a piano? What do we use to play music? Well, that's for the programming part. But let's see, uh, pictures of what a piano looks like. So we need a reference. Piano, keyboard, piano, keyboard. <coughs> oh, right here. And videos of a piano, keyboard. So when we deal with pianos, we typically want to start with the middle C. And looking at a keyboard, uh, a, a laptop or a computer keyboard, we have, let's see, A, W, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, and then we got some other uh, grammar keys here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. That's one octave and a half, about. And by octave, I mean, well, I'll let your music teacher describe what an octave is. Okay, an octave, oh, how do I describe an octave? Oh, from C to B, basically. From C to B, and then you stop at G. Letters. Uh, so an octave, let's see. Middle C, clearly. So in terms of design, perhaps G should be middle C, although it says G. And then... The black keys could be in the top row. So right now where the mouse is, this could be this could be a middle 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 C over here. Well, middle C might be over here. C C sharp C D D sharp C D E F G A B. There's no such thing as a C as a B sharp. Instead, a B flat is an A sharp. So yeah, middle C can be here. And I have, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. In the keyboard, A, S, D, F, G, H, J, L, K, L, semicolon, and what is this, parentheses? That's 11 keys. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. If 5 was middle C, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <sighs> eleven. Five, four, three, two, one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. From here to here. 11 keys. Okay, so 11 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8 quarter notes, quarter, quarter notes, 8 uh, of the black keys. 11 white keys, 8 black keys. So let's do that then. Okay, I'm gonna keep this as a reference. I'll keep, oh, this one's good. This one's good. Um, and it looks like every, looks like a, there's a bit of a, well, in between the keys, there's a gap right here. And those gaps are, they're the black gaps. They're lines. So there's a border in between them. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, for reference, we can put the, the letter of the key inside of the box. They're really essentially boxes. With the exception of, well, 
even in the black keys. Yeah, and that'll just make it easier for the user, although it's a bit more work. Um, and then put a highlight. So when you press it, when you press on your keyboard, a corresponding change in in the key in the sprite will occur. It could just be a different costume for it, or or, or it could be an effect. Hmm. All right, so maybe this could be broken down to two different versions. Version one, simplistic, then version two has the upgraded, you know, you have your letters here. Well, let's, let's see how much we can get done. Uh, really, we're only limited by our imagination and how much storage we have in our D drive, which I have about 100 gigs left, and uh, yeah, it's recording at seven frames per second, how nice. So this is gonna be our inspiration right here. Our span is going to be 11 keys, eight black ones, middle C, I'm sorry, C sharp, C4 being uh, key one, two, three, four, five, key five, right? And uh, that's just, instead of it being on key six, it's just because it's a preference of, I don't know, being left-handed? I'm not left-handed, right-handed. And it just makes sense to me for it to be on this finger, C, and for this to be C sharp. So it's it's completely biased. It is somewhat arbitrary, but let's just go with that. I'm going to minimize this, and now, in fact, in order to make this a bit more bearable, no, I'm definitely going to need this as a reference. I'll, uh, I'll leave this here. All right, so a blank sheet. A blank sheet virtual piano let's call this version 1.01 let's start with sprites so we need to fill this up with sprites paint and uh, we do want a border but the fill is going to be white and let's just do saturation zero Okay, and I want a box, just a box, a simple box. This could represent a key. Not too bad. Is that a key? See, I really only care about the, the aspect ratio. Oh, it's a great key. The aspect ratio meaning width over height, or height over width, whichever. I want to center that. Yeah, there you go, key. Okay. And perhaps the border should be a little higher. What if I put 10? And I believe this is by pixels. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Six. Six is great. <laughs> so maybe eight. And again, there's no reason why it should be 4, 10. Well, 4 might be too small, 10 might be too large. But really, there's no difference why it should be 7 over 8. It's just 8 an even number. And again, I'm being biased. I'm, I prefer an even number to an odd number because odd numbers are weird. Uh, 8. Okay, cool. Sprite. Say we control S. Although if you're doing this online, you don't need to do control S. And let's move it around. Good. <laughs> uh, and this could be middle C. Sure. This is middle C. Um, how can I change the name? Let's call this C4. And C4 is explosive, right? C4. They use it for, for stuff. Bombs. Uh, now let's just duplicate this. I'm going to do this 11 times. Duplicate, duplicate, or I'm going to do it 10 times to have 11 sprites. Da, 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 duplicate, duplicate. Oh, now I'm at 6 total, 7 total. Just duplicating again. Right click, left click, right click. 
left click and I know they all have the same oh no they don't the numbers are changing all looks um, so if you learn more about music you'll notice there isn't just C depending on which octave you're in you're gonna have C4 you can be in C5 or you could be in the cello clef um, and you'll be in C2 and C1 I believe I did more than I needed let's see I have too many sprites uh oh oh let's start deleting delete 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 and I'll do this maybe three more times right click delete right click delete I should have 11 sprites uh, yes 11 so here's how I'm going to name them I'm gonna start with C4 and then I'm gonna go with D4 and A, B, C, D, E4. So this will be E4, A, B, C, D, E, F4. I'm gonna repeat after G4, A, B, C, D, E, F, G4, G4. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, so I said 11 total. So C4, so this, and C4 is number 5. Therefore, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This C17 here is going to be my last one, and then I'm going to go backwards. So F4, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G4, and A4, A5. If, see after G I'm gonna start repeating because that's gonna be my next octave an octave is basically just a group of eight it, it's a group of eight a group of eight anything it could be a group of eight books a group of eight letters in this case it's a group of eight musical tones or eight musical notes eight musical notes is what we call an octave here at least at, at least for this video um, so after G4 though I'm going to start repeating so G and then now we're going to go back to A so A4 and B4 A4 A4 and B4 oh mistake 5 I mean 5 A5 A5 there G4 then I repeat the alphabet and A5 and B5 mm. and I want to go backwards so C4, I'm going to put in B4 here because it's after B5. No, no not because. Uh, enter. And what I'll do next is I'm just going to shift it. I should explain it now. Uh, so I'm going to put this all the way behind. I'm going to put this all the way before C4. So now b4 is before c4 uh, so add so g4 b4 is before c4 so here's g4 a5 b5 um, just after hopefully that joke didn't confuse you too much but I am going backwards so that was b4 therefore this is going to be a4 a4 and then g4 and f4 so i'm going to rename this one a4 and this one will be called let's see a b c d e f g g4 and this one shall be a b c d e f g f g i, I knew that you know I, I know my alphabet do you know your alphabet so now we have to not only put these in alphabetical order but also in numerical order so we need to put this in alpha numerical order uh, okay so b5 here a4 a4 will go all the way to the top so yeah this management can be a little crazy when you have so many sprites right 11 is a big number now you have to manage the sprites that you have at least in your head and if you don't have enough ram then i don't know grow some more ram install some more ram uh g4 all right so da, 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 gonna go 
So remember between A and G or between G and A is when we repeat. And I will just do a quick another overview again. Oh yeah, this one, this looks good. I need to get 11, F2. Um, F2 sounds very wrong. <coughs> F2 sounds very wrong. Um, it's out of the range. For now, it's octave. I probably meant F4. Um, and then I need to actually save the name. Good. Okay, so here's F2. F2 is going to go up, 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 up here. Oh, I needed to go one more. Oh, I'm just going to leave it here and I'm going to shift it one more time. Thank you. Okay, so Sprite, in terms of the naming convention, we have F2, G2, A4. Oh, why, why this? Why this? I, again, A should be A G4 at this point. Enter. Interesting. It's not changing the name. How come? Because I have this here. Huh. So let me check my work. C4, D4, E4, F4, G4, A5, B5. Going backwards, remember C4 is explosive. It's going to be our middle C. C4, B4, A4. The letters repeat between G and A, G and A, but the numbers repeat between C4 and B3. Therefore, right here, that should be B3. And that's why I was getting that bit of an error. That's why I wasn't saving. And if I looked at my reference, I would have caught that too. Oh, okay. That, see, my reference doesn't have the numbers. It just has letters. But notice how it, there's a repeat here. C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then repeat again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B. So between G and A, there's a repetition in the... the there's a repetition in the... Um, in the letter, in the in the letter, the name of the note, but that isn't the full name. It's like every note has a first name and a last name, and this doesn't show it in here. So there's not enough information for sanity in that photo. Uh, where are the numbers? Because well, I also want to know, uh, dictate which scale that we're in, which scale. Oh, not I'm sorry, not which scale, which octave, and these notes could actually be mapped to frequency and, and pitch. One being the inverse of the other, or both being the inverses of each other. Uh, okay, well, uh, no picture available. Fine, we'll make our own. I'm giving the notes a first name and a last name, and I am telling you that at C4, we start the number scheme. So four, 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 four. This is the four family, or the octaves of the four. After here, we start repeating. Ooh, we start repeating. But this should be A4, by the way. And uh, we'll do a quick overview again of how it should be. How it should be. What is right. We're still on A4. I'm going to make this A4. 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 And this would be, this is an excellent time to start double checking our work. A4, B4, okay. So let's start checking our work. We have 11 sprites, that's our range. And the reason why we're using 11 sprites is because our keyboard has in the home row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, <coughs> 11 keys. So we start with, and we want, or we're saying that C4 should be on our left pointer finger and I'm sorry I'm also assuming that you have like 10 fingers digits thumbs but yeah uh, C3 
G3, A3, B3, C4. So the number increases after the B. C4, B4, E4, F4, G4, A4, B. So again, F, G, repeat letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then repeat the letter A, B. Um, if I'm repeating, no, 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 not repeating, yeah, just repeating only the letter, the number stays the same. So one more time, I have 11 sprites, F3, G3, A3, B3. The number repeats here, but the letter keeps going. C4, D4, E4, F4, G4. The letter repeats, but the number keeps going. A4, B4, and that's our 11. That's our span for now. That's our span. Um, at this time, what I would like to do is to actually put in the name of the the key the name of the key in here so for that oh um, control z for that i shall i shall do this i shall use the text tool so select left click on the text tool and f5 oh see what i did wrong go ahead change your fill to black here brightness Okay, and here select F5, F5, hmm, does anyone think that that should be F3, F3, and I don't know why it says F5, there, see we're catching mistakes as we go along, if you want to recenter it, just put it down here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, copy, I'll go here, and I'll paste this. But this one's not going to be F5, this one's G5, I'm sorry, G4, G3. And I go here, let's see, where's my copy button? I lose it. Maybe. A3. A3. Uh. All right. Copy. Go to A3. Select that. Delete. Copy, Control V. How about this? I'm just going to go through each of them. I'm going to paste and then I'm going to go back and change the name. When I'm pasting, it's appearing in the same like Control plus V to paste. You can press this button to paste. To paste. And it seems to be pasting in the same X, Y coordinate as the original copy. If you didn't do that in the first copy, I don't know, go back and do it. Or let me show you how to do it. Um, make sure your select tool is on. Select tool, not text, but select tool. So select that text object that we created. Press copy or control V. And now in nine, see how there's no text here? Because we haven't done it yet. We haven't pasted it in here yet. We can press paste left click on paste or you can press control plus v on your keyboard and see right there it got centered in there so now all you have to do is paste and go down to 11 and paste and then make sure you save if you're doing it in the scratch uh, scratch desktop uh now let's go back and make sure that what we pasted corresponds to the name of the of the note so here's f3 G3, uh, A3. 
a3 okay uh b3 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 and c4 now c4 c4 d4 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 e4 e4 f4 f4 g4 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 a4 and b4 so a4 and b4 b4 Ooh, v4 all right and i'm going to i know this might be tedious but just go back and check your work because 11 is a big number maybe i made a mistake somewhere maybe we made a mistake somewhere so sprite f3 f3 g3 g3 a3 a3 b3 b3 c4 c4 d4 d4 e4 e4 f4 f4 and uh g4 and g4 a4 a4 b4 b4 okay so at this point let's rear i might need to resize them because they might not all fit yeah so looking at the uh, rendered output, this screen right here on the top right, for me it's, I'm pointing in the top right direction, but this is mirrored. So, my finger is pointing, hey, this is so wrong, in the top right direction. Uh, if I had my sprites, Let's see. If I had my sprites here, I have different costumes. Oh, yeah, right, right. So I have a sprite with different costumes. Okay. Well, it was easy to edit that way. I guess if I would have done this in a program outside of Scratch, it would have been even easier. But it was done this way. Let's just go on from here there's another sprite that I actually want to do but perhaps these can be based on based off based off clones and when we start using the clones the clones are going to be under looks and that Sprite one costume, else if that'll affect the structure a bit. Now let's go ahead and do the. Well, let's do the uh, the black keys. I actually, do want to do uh, a layout, but in order to do the layout, I need to. Uh, I need to make the clones first i can already see that based on that screen though i might not get more than one two three four five six seven seven maybe eight uh so eight out of eleven which is basically 12 is 66 percent let's decrease the size by 66 percent so 100 minus 66 33 i'm just gonna make it 66 Six, six. size six six now this may or may not work not exactly arbitrary there was a reason why I chose six six now I like odd numbers apparently as opposed to even uh, let's see let's go ahead and make some clones so perhaps making the clones would have been a great idea no um, Making all of these individual sprites might have been better. Might have been way better. Um, maybe it's not too late to do that. But um, maybe this is also possible. Really, there isn't a wrong way to do it. It's just that the game, the, the clones aren't made until the program is ran. Right, so that that's why. 
So when flag is press, make clone. So where's my clone? Where's our clone? Clone, 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 clone. Uh, we'll probably want one of these costumes. Clone, clone, clone. Show high, go to front. Clone, clone, clone. And then move in certain XYZ. This is under looks though. Oh, I wish I could just search for clones, C L O N E. Clones, clones, clones. But I'm still under the impression that clones should be in the purple folder. Think, think, costume, costume, backdrop, change, clear graphical effects, layer. Do you have clone making here? Sounds, events. Eight forever. Point point change set to if on edge bounds. Next costume. Change color by. I don't see the clone button. Do you see the clone button? I wish this was interactive now. If you see the clone button, please say, here it is. When flat press, when space key press, when this right click, set backdrop so it's two, when, when I receive, press, press, repeat forever, else is else is. When I start as a clone, <laughs> create a clone, oh, right here. So this color is on. It's going to be orange. It's underneath control. So orange control, create a clone of myself. Of course, and then the very first one is F three. So let's do this. Which costume F three? Create a clone of myself. When I start as a clone. Create, uh, so we're already doing clones. Switch costume to F3. Let's go ahead and copy this. And maybe just do it with two of them. Two of them? Yeah. Okay. F3, three of them. G and A. G and A. So I'll put F all the way over here. Why do I have more? I don't know. <coughs> there shouldn't be more than one. There should only be one right now. Don't know why there's two of them. Odd. Why are there two of them here? Were there always two of them? Yes, if there were two of them, I need to delete one. Select. Nope. Oh, um, another thing is go ahead, select all, and then group them. Um, and preferably that should have been done a lot earlier. So select all groups. So that way the letter and the, the box itself is by itself. I'm not sure what this is doing though. Oh, that's the clone, I see. Um, the clone. Right, got it. So press clone, and the clone isn't set to because not the one's resized. So for the sake of size, set size to I wanted that 66 right now. Just because I think it's 66 is gonna fit left to right. You could get a right answer if you knew what the resolution was. and the size of our box as well. I don't have that number in my mind. Maybe this tells you, but it's not telling me. Let's do a click here. Uh, so under looks, there should be a size, a resize button. Set size to 66%. Uh, what are you doing? Set size to 66%. 
six six a percentage. So uh, somehow an extra zero got placed in there. Six percent press, and then we want to move to <laughs> wherever it is right now. That's that seems good. Uh, is that the middle of the screen? Not really. Kinda. Y minus six. Let's just make it zero. And then go to the X Y. Sure, we're not. Uh, keep. So the X is going to change. The Y will not change if we set this to zero. It should be at zero. There we go. And then we create a clone of myself. Now here's self. When I start as a clone. Do this when I start as a clone. Uh, no, I'm still working on this. When flag clicked, make a clone, and then this will happen. This clone is going to be G3, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Press flag. Uh, position here is not going to be the same. So, where's the next one? Here's D3. I just want to get the coordinates for this. That's about right. I'm it 165. So the X position is negative 165. The Y position moved a bit. Um, it's probably not a good position here. I'm trying to click on this. Left, left, left. Not working. All right, uh, 6, 165. Is that so? 168. 168 is probably better. That looks about right. I'm just eyeballing it here. So 168 Y, I'm going to make sure it's just it's just zero here. So uh, OK, now I'm going to press again. So I have F3 and G3. And now the difference between 207 and 168 is going to be, where's my calculator? All right, let's do, oh, it's right here. <laughs> We're not going to do this in our head. We're going to do this. 207 minus 168, 168, uh, 39, 39, uh, 39, 39. All right, so uh, henceforth, so this is two clones right here. Henceforth, the third one, actually, da da, one and then two. Here's the stack. I'm going to repeat the stack here. The clone is here. Uh, and this one will be A3. And 168 minus 39, or plus 139. So 16, because it's negative. So 168, if I add 129, it's going to be 129. Uh, negative 129. Next one is going to be, and so. I know I want to say I want to subtract 139 here, so maybe I could put that as a comment. I comment, subtract or add. Difference in position is 39 pixels. So either subtract or add 39. Um, one little comment here. So that's why we're using 139, just because it's the difference between this. Uh, y is going to be zero, so they're all in the same row. I have a problem with this when I start as a clone. Because this is a clone, but now I have a second clone. So pressing go, I seem to be missing G3. Yeah. And now I have, oh, I have this, I have another one. Interesting. See how crazy this is. So, <coughs> and there's another one. Oh, I think there's a bug in my code. So what's going on is when I'm pressing this, it creates a clone, and then this creates this G3. A clone of myself. Ooh. And then it forever creates a clone. Uh, 
what if I did this? And your looks, just go to next costume. And since they're already in that order, I'll get the next one to appear. And then I delete this here. And now play. Stop. Uh, play. And then there's this one here, this one. And so everyone seems to be showing up. F. Order this correctly. Yeah, so this isn't going to work. Um, I don't think I can just make this many clone and then give them all their own program i believe that these sprites these are gonna have to be individual sprites uh but let's just see if the span is correct one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh eleven of course this keeps going and going and going and going then it repeats with f3 Okay, so this was a video of how not to do this. F3, B4, G3, A3, B3, C4, D4, E4. Ooh, actually, I might, it seems like I have some extra space in here too. But it's not exactly a whole number. Here in here. Yeah, I have one more. Yeah, I could probably fit in one more, but I only had 12 to play with. So, what does that mean? It means that I can increase this by the size of 1, 12. One 12. Well, I could basically squeeze one more in there. Right there. It probably wouldn't even matter. No, I, I think. So there's mm, there's either one key to build now. There isn't even this much resolution. But for this, there should be a way. I did by 33. Something by 11. 33. 11. 3. 69. Let's see that. Uh, that's, well, I'll just do 70. This is for lower school. So 70%. This might actually be able to fit. So, there's one, 70, 30. And I know there's a big gap there, but whatever. Let's sort of fix this. Yeah. Alright, so that overlap fixes that, not overlap. Now I'm just playing with, with something. So the uh, the sprite that I make from here, the, the virtual sprites, I, I don't want to like redo the work that I just did. But I 
I don't want to, I don't want to redo the work I just did creating the animations. Uh, but um, I shouldn't be making them just by costumes. So that was something I didn't have the foresight to do. Although right now I do want to see if this can right here. Yeah, right here. Good. Pixel by pixel. And B4. Uh, Sixty-seven, huh? So sixty-seven. Well, sixty-six wasn't big enough apparently. And B four, B four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, which is too much. Uh, even here, this is where I would have ended. Sixty-eight might have been a better number then. But the first one is sixty-eight. The other ones aren't. So making these a sprite and its clown might it's only gonna give us two. Okay. So here's what I'll do. Duplicate, start duplicating. One and we'll do this eleven times. Two three uh, four five Six, seven. Mm, that was it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Um, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten. I'll get rid of this duplicating stuff. And now we'll start with what was the first costume? The first costume was F3. So let's begin. Naming these. This is just called Sprite 1. Uh, this could be a problem because I don't know which key this or what which key it's supposed to be. So C. Four, no, F three, F three. So A B C D E F G G three, G G three. Now we repeat the name. A three. So A B C D E F G A. Enter. Is that right? Something's wrong. Oh, there, and everything's right. So B3. B3, we'll make this one B3. Uh huh, and the C4. So by the time we hit the C, we go to the C4. <laughs> C4. And this is now going to be D4. This will be. Uh, yeah. Control V. Is that Control V? No, that's capital V. Uh, A B C D E E four and F four and A B C D E F G G four. And now we go to G A B C D E F G. Now we go back to A A, but we're still on four. And finally, B4. A nice punful number to end that letter. So, in terms of arrangements, then, let's go ahead and just lay out the white keys F3, so 39. Um, too much, too little. Try 38. Oh no. Hmm. 39 based on the size of the, the width of each sprite. 39 was the number of white. It's just that. The resizing should have been to, to this. So how about this? All of these need their own code. 
therefore the code I use will be some version of this. We need to initiate everyone. We're not going to make clones right now. But they do have costumes. So a costume will change. That position will change. So here. Uh, hmm. This one is G3, G3, and then 207, 207, 129. Okay. And now for this person, this sprite. Uh, and then let's see, A3, and here, position will be 129 minus 39, which is 90, so minus 90, minus 90, so uh, B3. Right, and so switch costume to uh, which sp uh, sprite you're using should correspond to the name of the sprite that we gave it. And then, since I'm not doing this in my head, 90 minus 39 will be 51. Minus 51, so negative 51. And then no, no clone, no clones. Clones are bad right now. That's B3. So... for right now F G what happened to this one F3 is here uh, uh, what's 207 minus 39 minus 39 107 oh this one should be negative 107 so negative 170 and now this one should be that minus 39, which should give us the previous number. 139, negative 139, negative 1 through 1. And now this one should be minus 39, 92. Minus 92. And then that minus 39 was 53 for some reason. Uh, sure, I'm not gonna argue it. It's three. Mm -hmm. Minus fifty three. Minus fifty three. And then just delete that stack. Click. Oh, no, I wanted the whole thing to delete. So that's a uh, plane here. Where's C4? F, G, A, B, C. Uh, here's B3. So C4 might be underneath it. No, it's, it's right there. It should show up. Hmm. Don't create a clone. Uh, are we still doing clones? No, no, no more clones, please. So we're going to have to babysit each and every one of these. So G3, that, this, that, D3. I don't know why it's not showing up. It's It shouldn't be sharing the same X. No, it really shouldn't be. There are different numbers here. B3, B3, so what's the problem? Uh, see that shifting that's occurring? So do I proceed or do I not proceed? Ah, C four, three, D four. Mm. Uh, 
in order to manage this I'm just going to go sprite by sprite by sprite and um, I'm just gonna make some changes to the code each of them so all of this kill uh, kill don't worry about the, the blue stuff right now so and it's really painful to do this because this computer is very slow right now uh, Ah, I'm letting go. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching this. I didn't touch it. Okay. See, I'm clicking on this and then I have to wait a second before my screen reacts to what's going on. So I'm just deleting the second stack that got copied. And then uh, this here. Likewise. Oh, F3. Oh, okay. Also, something else that might be happening is that some of these sprites might be on top of each other. So that's why my C4 is showing up. That could be it. So that's a potential reason why. So it's an easy fix. So this here, this here. Uh, C4, 68, C4. Uh, wait, also, if it has the same name as F3, change that to C4. Um, that's all I'm gonna see. So let's go ahead and do this click. Okay, that seems better. Uh, this should be D4, D4, D4. Uh, position from C4. So C4 is at 53. We said we're subtracting what? We're subtracting 39. So, or if you want to be mathematically correct, you would say we're at negative. 53 in the X position, are we? No, we're not. C4 is at negative 53. Therefore, if I add 39, I will go to the right, I'll be at negative 14. So minus one four, that's four. Oh, no, 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 for this. This, this is at 53, 53. So I did this on the wrong sprite, it didn't. Now I go to D4 sprite. D4 should be at negative 14. Negative 1, 4. Okay, negative 1, 4. So now E4. E4 is going to be here and then previous position. So I could probably press play on this. D4 was there. So plus, so minus 14 plus 39, it crosses over 0. So plus 39, we get plus 25, or just 25. So this is E4. So 25 on play right there. No, F4. F4, F4 is 25 plus 39, which shall be 64. X value is 64. And then this is F4, so play there, G4 plus 39, 103, so now we've crossed over 100, 103. <coughs> uh, this is G4, see how tedious this is, but it's, it's simple because it's the same din that we're just repeating, press flag, no G4 is there, A4 is going to be, switch that to A4. Before scrolling down, now I have a vertical bar there. Um, plus 39, 142, plus 142, plus, plus 142. Uh, press play to visualize it, A4, and now this is B4. position is what? I already forgot. Whatever the position of this is, plus 39, so for 2, plus 39, 181. See, these are all hard coded in 181. And I'm going to have a problem very soon. Is that for A4? Oh, no, no, no. 
control Z, control Z, control Z. Oh, you stay there. Uh, 181. What should I have 11 here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's room for itself one in here. So either the size of the sprite can change, the resize of it all can change, or hard coding it can change. <coughs> or hard coding it can change. Um, hard coding is bad, and I don't normally teach this to LS2, especially not to LS1, but we've gone over it with LS3, so. And definitely in public school one. Um, so I could set some variables in the code to my backdrop, just allocate them, and then begin begin using those variables for everything else. That's probably going to be the if I actually if I'm very strict with this. Um, so I'll do that for version 2 of this, just for version 2 of this. Uh, in fact, version 1, which is this video, or version 0 0.01, isn't going to have the black keys. Just because I think I've been in here for an hour and 44 seconds. 45, 6, 7. Um, I went through two different rabbit holes. One with the... I already forgot what the first one was, but the second one was with the clones. Uh, well, one for the naming convention for the sprite names and then one for the clones. Um, so I'm going to leave a second video that goes into a bit more complicated stuff. But just for this one, let's just set, let's code up some of the first few keys. So the idea is this. I'll put the main code in the backdrop. So right now here's the backdrop. There's a code area. I could put different backdrops. I could put different sounds. Now let's see. The code should run when and now we're gonna go for an event. When event, so where's my event? Event, event, events. No? Okay, sensing. We go to sensing, sensing, and this color will be navy or baby blue. When a key is pressed, and we'll put this in repeat until if key press, and let's go with A. With the A key is pressed. So when the A key is pressed, we're going to play a sound. So sound is going to be in, uh, in pink. Play sound. We're going to start the sound. We're not going to do until done. We're just going to start the sound. Hopefully that way there's some overlap. And the sound for F3 is going to be F3. Not going to record it. Uh, this sound should already exist. So let's see. If I go to sounds and choose a sound, F3 should already be there somewhere. F3, 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 waiting. Okay, so all of these sounds exist. Did that play? Okay, there's the sound. Um, is, is F3 in here somewhere? Oh, I hope it is. If not, bad stuff. Where's, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, F3 is not being shown. See, I saw note names in here. Oh, right here, notes. What? These are my, okay, uh, let's see what we have here. B guitar, B piano, B sax. It seems that 
These are all A's apparently. Oh man, this might be a problematic. That's clearly a string instrument. Oh, oh that's a nice oh you play it, huh? So my piano keys this is gonna be problematic because it seems that I'm limited to only one octave here. I hope not. B C D E E, 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 there's F, piano, so how about this, everything that says piano in it, piano. okay, so, electric piano, oh, and there are no sharps, oh. so we have A, so A piano, B piano, so A, B, C, and there's a C2 piano, Play, please. Okay, and this one. So this might be a C sharp. What about this? Okay. C, A, B, C, D, E. Where's F? Where's F? Oh, F. And then G. It's only one octave. We only get one octave out of this. That's a problem, ain't it? Nine. E through L. Unless we record our own sounds or we can download actual sounds. In which case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you only get one octave too. We don't have any sharps. So by default, we're limited. So if I wanted to press F, F would have been F3, and I'm not even sure if this is F3. I mean, maybe this is C4. Maybe that's C4. Wait, maybe. It says C2. It's actually, I don't think it's C2 because I would have been in, you know, like a cello or a bass. And I would know that because I am an ex cellist. Who's who is an ex cellist? No one's um, C2. So now I am I have to remap what I what our hubs and start here. We have up through G, which is an octave plus C. But I wanted to put the sharps in the in the top row. So I'm a little disappointed right now. Um, I kind of made this video just with an idea in my head. And a week ago, I had told myself, this is what I'm going to do. I want to do a piano uh, game for my students. But now I'm seeing that just right off the back by default, there are some notes missing. Maybe one of the add-ons over here um, has more options. Plus, so music, okay. Music here, pen, video sensing, text-to-speech, that's pretty cool. Translate. Uh, music. Maybe this has more options. So what I did was I went to the add extension and this should also be available in the online version of this. But click on music and you'll get another block in here. And hopefully, hopefully let's see, play drum. Okay, this is a drum. I don't really want drums. I'm not a drummer. Okay. Play note for blah 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 blah. Play note. Is this in hertz? Oh, what? Okay. Um. This is this is doable. Okay. So uh, let's see. Our, where's my Arduino stuff? Our, yes, ARD. I have a header file that already has uh, keys mapped to certain keys. Just one, okay, so no, I don't want to do that. Uh, pitches. So don't worry about stuff right now. And these could all be coordinated. Oh, that also, you know, a more complicated, uh, a more complicated program would actually read for how long you've been pressing on the key, and so then it keeps playing something until you let go. Oh, there's a bug right here. 
I've plant high yeast garden soil inside of indoor uh, pots for some food that I'm making and I thought it wouldn't be too big of a deal until I realized that there's a reason why it's for outdoor use only. Now I have bugs flying all over my house from that garden soil. Those things, they grow and they go through different phases. And they're little, in so anyways, they, they grow wings and I'm in the second floor right now. Uh, okay, so pitches and notes really they're based on frequencies, and frequencies are based on pitch, and they're both the inverses of each other. Right now, just realize that there's a number that corresponds to these notes. If I wanted to play F3, um, F3 would be 175. I'm not sure how this uh, library extension here is working, but 170, oh, it gives you a little menu right there. Oh, yes, no, yes, no. 17, that's very basic. Where's 175? Huh, look at that. C sharp. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Um, let's go to 175. Where's 175? It's, is, I hope it's mapped the same way I think it is. Okay. I don't think so. No. 175 A, B, C, D This is very high up That's very high up Does it keep going? I, it wouldn't go 175 um, So these This is actually an integer Rounded version of what it, this, this is basically in Hertz It should be in Hertz um, so D8 being here. So, what can I say about this? Of course, it wouldn't. But your D8. So, I wonder what 122 divided by 8 is. 122 divided by 8. 15. 15 octaves here. That's very high pitch. So, let's just say that. 60 is C4. Let's make that assumption right now. Okay, let's pretend this is like in the middle. C sharp is supposed to be in the middle. So maybe I'm not too incorrect. But if this was C4, okay, if this C60 is C4, and I'm saying that because it, it looks like it's in the middle between maybe 1 and 122, 60 ish, it's the first C that's roughly in the middle. Um, then one octave down will be, and I'm looking for F3, so G, F, 53, this one, okay, not bad, so I'm going to copy this, and that's F3, I'm not going to play this, whatever that is. I'm going to play this. And if I press A on my keyboard. Hmm. Control. Else. And then I want several of these. Oh, where is it? So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I might delete the last one and put an eleventh one in there. Else, this. Else, that. Else, this. Else, this. Else, and now I'm. This is larger than an hour. This. Else, that. And there's one down here, and then maybe one or two more. Else that, else this, else blah, blah, blah. Um, where are you? Nothing more, nothing else here. All right, let's ignore that. I'm trying to pan to the right, but there's nothing else to pan to. Uh, let's go to, all right, so I want 11, so copy it 10 times. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I pressed it ten times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh. There, eleven. So, home row. And then this one will be S. So where's S? Uh, S, 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 S. S, 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 and S, and I'll put S there. And I'll worry about that later. Uh, so after, now let's just do, you know, let's organize our work here. S, and after S is, no, not, well, D in the home row. So D, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. D, 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 D. Where's D right here? D will go into here. So ASD, now we want F, ASDF, so we'll go down a bit, here's F, F will go here, okay, F and then G, G, where's G, 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 where is G, G, uh, bam, this here, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, and then A, L, no, not false. Where's F? F? F is here. Okay. F, A, B, C, D, E, F. F, let's see. F. I, I know the alphabet, right? Oh, no, I don't. Apparently, I don't. Uh, home row. A, S, D, F, A, S, D, F. G, H. See how mistakes happen? That's how mistakes happen. G, H, J. This one should be J. K, A, B, C, D, K. Why are these alphabetical, but then the other stuff isn't, huh? That's just weird. J, K, L is alphabetical, but not. And then this should be semicolon, which I hope it's mapped in here. If not, oh, it's not. That's a problem. Okay, so if I were using Pi games, there is, there should be a way to map this out. So maybe keyboard. See, now we've encountered another limitation of Scratch. Hmm. Key, key, key. Yeah. Um, when key. Mouse down, X low, this X reset timer. G, K, L. See, um, after J, K, L, we don't have, we don't have, so I'm hoping now there's an extension for the keyboard. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Maybe, but no. No, 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 no. Oh, I would have to look at them to actually see. Um, I'm thinking like if you could enter in, you could type in a K or an L, perhaps that could be a way. But let's call this version one and we're not gonna have anything after L. So that's fine, that's fine. So we'll just put these out here. Else if also if we pee. Oh, and this should all be in a forever loop too. Um, where's my forever loop? Here we go. And then into a forever loop. All right. Should have been for us. Else, else nothing really. Um, else wait one second. No. Else repeat ten. No. Else if. Actually, the very last if else statement, I'm going to make it this right here. <sighs> what am I doing? Okay, and uh, so this was F3 we said. So F3, this bad boy here will be, or this bad girl here will be, this bad key, this block. Is 55 now. Um, I'm wondering how it's numbering this stuff though. So, was that 
really f oh this should have been f right and then this 53 then this one is a the count oh that's how it's 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 and then does it do six, oh i see okay so it includes the sharp spot like in between e and f there's no it's obviously no sharp, so there's no increment in the integer here. So I could probably. So here's the thing. I don't know by memory where where the sharps are. Like I know there's no B sharp. There's B flat, but there's no B sharp. Wait, no, there might be a B sharp. See, I don't, I don't know if there's a B sharp. There could be a B sharp. I don't know. Apparently, there isn't. <laughs> See, now that music major. So let's just use this reference as a guide. This was F sharp, and you know what would be really nice right now is comet blocks. F3. Uh, F. Is it typing? It's not typing. It's not working. See, now I'm the one who's saying it's not working. F. Did, did I break this? I broke it. Uh, I broke my program. I just want to type in some notes, comments, because I don't want to, okay, well the first one's F3, because we're making that a law. Uh, F3, 53 apparently, so that was F3. Then there's a sharp, we're not doing that right now, there's G3, and A3 is here, 57. So after 57, we can go to B3, uh, B3, and after B3, we have middle C, the infamous middle C, and I wanted middle C to be our left pointer finger, so there it is. One, and one, two, three, four, I want four more. One, two, three, four. I'll put this one away. So let's see. 60? Yeah, it kind of looks like a 60. Uh, 60. So now I can go up an octave. Um, 60. Well, I was already up an octave. So this is D4, D4, and I have to check again. Okay, E4, and the next one is 65 without needing to check. 65, there wasn't a, is it not working? Okay, my keyboard is no longer working for some reason. That might have been why. Yeah. Uh, so, um, for users who are using tablets and not keyboards, or if you're using this on your phone, then you might want to be able to press um, and then have it play. This program will not do that yet. So maybe that could be version 3. Version 3 will have various inputs for the same sounds. Um, there is a block. There, there's a block for multiple conditions. It is uh, ah right here or this one. This block we'll see again in let's say version three. <laughs> or two. So for example, if G is pressed or or if well maybe I can do it right now or under sensing if let's see uh answer key mouse 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 what's the touch button i don't know is there no sensing for the touch button oh, sorry, touch button. key mouse down x y okay i'm a little disappointed now mm. uh, can, oh maybe it's an event then event event uh when i receive when 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 not the stage but when uh 
Well, well, maybe then that could exist with that code could exist within the actual sprite, and then I can use one of these um, when I receive when this sprite is clicked. See, right there. Um, right, but that's not actually a condition, and that's what's disappointing right now. It's not a condition here. Uh, well, time for another extension then. Anyways, um, 64. What was 64? I don't know. Oh, the 64. Really? Really? 64? 62? 64? 65? Cool. 65 and then let's see 65 and then, is there a sharp for that yeah there's a sharp G to this G4 I believe so no sharps whatsoever and I'm yeah well you could have had multiple conditions if you if there was an option here somewhere okay so let's press play Let's go. See, that's individual beats right there. Huh. And apparently, this code here forces you to do a uh, to do a delay in there. So, it, it seems like this code might be a sound, but it's not play until it. It's not start sound. It's not this. It's play until it's done because right, I can't play these at the same time. But if I was using the start sound, then through the microphone I can hear two sounds start at the same time and maybe they'll finish at the same time, but they play over each other. And that was the effect I wanted. Um, that was the effect I wanted. So I could definitely make a better version of this by recording. But then what are you recording? And how do you make it play forever? Because sound is this is like a, there's there's a transient phase and then there's a delayed response. There's a transient phase when you're playing music. Of course, this is digital music, really. It's just, it's on and off immediately. Anyways, um, if you're just playing for this many beats. So let's make this two. Yeah, see. One, two. And while that's playing, you can't press another button. You can't press S until this finishes. Five. Alright, you know what? One, two, five. Yeah. So I like the range you get with it. I like that you can set for how long it's been played for. However, I don't like that. I like that you have a bigger range already predefined for you. I like that it's the piano. Um, which is what I'm doing. I mean, if I was doing the guitar, I might complain a bit. But I don't like that you can't play simultaneous sounds. And also, there should be a way to like dynamically change this. So that would be a harder problem. But for now, for what we're doing, just for understanding how this code works, um, this is good. There's no semicolon, no parenthesis. Let's see. So that was our one hour and 28, 29 minute little video. And I think I made three sets of mistakes now. Um, um, at this point, we're not really doing much with 
the actual sprites themselves. In fact, the code doesn't even use them. The code is all in the backdrops. Um, but what I wanted is when this sprite gets pressed, we could see perhaps a clone here, or perhaps it switches to a costume. So that could be like a part two. And then you could visually see what you're pressing so that when you press A, this here could you know, change colors. Uh, for right now, this is the start of something. And uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't hard code this. I really, you should never, you should avoid hard coding, but then I, I should explain what hard coding is. But this is hard coding. Remember how I individually change these one by one by one by one by one well now if i want to make an edit to any of this or to you know, to make f3 to b4 fill up the whole gap or now that i know that i don't have access to the last two notes a4 and b4 um and now i would have to elongate them all so if i wanted to you know have 100 percent coverage of the of this screen then and I'm pointing at stuff now, uh, at this screen. Um, then I would have to go through that entire process one more time. And that, of course, took, what, 20 minutes? Versus just going to a preset parameter, change the number once, and then everything dynamically changes. So that's why you wouldn't want to hard code. Because next in the feature, when you go back to your code and you want to make an edit, it's a lot easier to do the edit. So in the long run, it's you save time. Uh, but now I have to repeat that entire process one more time. Um, so I just learned that A4 and B4, we can't, well, unless you pre-recorded your stuff. One thing worth noting is if you have time, you know, go through this. Rest, play note, 60 for that many beats. Set tempo two, change tempo two. We're using extension now. Oh, click on something. Okay, so for now this is fine. Version zero point zero one, and this is the same control structure that we use for the AWSD control. Except now there are eleven entries, so it's a bit more scary. A bit larger too. Um, well, that's it. Class is dismissed. Try to you know, recreate this in class. I will explain it again um, on Monday if you're LS2. And you'll get to play with this uh, on Friday if you're in LS1. Bye, everyone.